Yeah, I think that's absolutely true. I mean, I think what, one of the points that we would, you know, we would argue about our monarchy, and again, you know, you were talking about President Macron, that the French would argue about their presidency, is that there is a continuity hmm. represented in which the community has a sense of value in part through continuity. So if you trash hmm. the history of a culture... What you're actually trying to do is to weaken that sense of community or to destroy it. I mean, in practical terms, President Putin is trying to destroy a sense of community in Ukraine separate to the community he intends to impose of Russianness. So in the case of Britain, I'm afraid to say people who go around um, trashing sort of um, empire, trashing uh, the past, well, several points to make about that. One, um, I don't know whether anybody's ever thought about this, but uh, we could easily have a situation in which we are all made redundant in the future from a future which thinks that we are absolutely awful because we allowed animals to be killed to eat. I eat meat, I make perfectly clear. Or, and, and in mm. other words, values have to be ones in which you have a sense of trust with the past. You want to be able to feel that you understand why people in the past did what they did, just as you would like to feel that future generations would understand why you did what you thought was important and valuable. And we've got to be very careful about trashing the past. We can say we wouldn't do it now, and I think it's very clear we wouldn't now do a lot of things we've done in the past. But that's not the same as saying that our links with the past are evil. And that is not a helpful proposition because it carries with it the idea of inherited sin, inherited guilt. And that is not a healthy attitude in any society.